Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm doing a frame walkthrough for my clients who are out of state over here in Kings Canyon by TriPoint Homes. It is crazy, crazy. So this is um, plan three over at Kings Canyon again. And before we get started, make sure, do me a favor, like and subscribe. But anyway, so this is the plan three, and we will walk through the front door and then through the garage next. It is a construction zone right now. So as you walk in, I don't know if you remember the model homes, but they had what's a courtyard. This would have been a courtyard, but this plan came as an option for a den in lieu of that courtyard. So the cool thing is, is that you have this den with a U-shaped little patio instead of this whole thing being courtyard, which adds an extra space downstairs, especially to have a home office. You can have four recessed lighting. The orange tubing is for your fire sprinklers and it's wired for a ceiling fan. The yellow tubing is for electrical, and this is your gas, I do believe. This right here is just temporary stairs until the real stairs come. The stairs are actually gonna go right here to the right, starting here and going up with, they got the floating staircase, so it's gonna be nice and open right in here. So the next phase will be insulation and then drywall. So let's go into the great room. They got the, I think it's a 50 inch, not sure, the fireplace. Right here is where the TV mount's gonna go. And then the dining room. And the kitchen area. The sink is going to be in the island and they're gonna have three pendant lights. The cooktop is gonna go right here. And then right here is gonna be some cabinets and then the oven and microwave right there in the corner. This big room right here is the pantry. This room, this has, let's see, what? Four bedrooms and a den, I do believe. I can't remember the square footage off the top of my head right now, but I do believe the plan three is around 3,000, 2,900 square feet. So as you walk into this little hallway area, you have the half bath. And then you have a bedroom downstairs. With its own full bath. That's where the piping is, the plumbing. And then it looks like they're gonna have a shower here. We'll go upstairs next and then, well, let's take a peek at the backyard. It's not much right now. It's a little war zone out there. And behind it is Overlook right there. There's gonna be this gap of no houses, probably a paseo. And if you don't know what a paseo is, it's just like a ravine with a bunch of natural desert landscaping back there. Looks like the doorbell. So normally, like I said, the stairs would be right here and you would come up and land into the loft area. Which will go 
to her first. So here's the nice loft. They're gonna have four can lights, wiring for the ceiling fan and the place for the TV mount. This plan has two balconies, one in the primary and one off of the loft. There's three bedrooms upstairs. So yes, four bedrooms and a den. Here's one of the bedrooms. No extra can lighting, but it does have a pre-wire. And the nice thing about this bedroom, oh, this is where the closet's gonna be. Right here, the nice thing is what I was trying to say is that there's a Jack and Jill bathroom where this person that has this bedroom right here will can utilize the sink. There'll be a door right here, toilet, shower combo, and then another door and then the person in the next room will have their own sink as well. I didn't realize that it was adjoining. Hmm. Okay. So then here is the third bedroom. Here's the laundry room that has access into the primary. It's plumb for a sink, washer and dryer, can lights. Linen closet. And then here's the primary bedroom. There'll be four can lights and also pre-wired for a ceiling fan and then the TV pre-wiring. This is going to be their view. Again, the houses behind there are overlooked, so they will probably, they are going to be all single story homes. Not sure how much of a view they're gonna lose at the mountains, but they will still always have those mountains right there. Here's the primary shower and bathroom, the two different sinks, and then they went with the spa shower. It's going to be, um, have the rain shower head and then the shower heads right there. So this is the huge spa-like shower. It's gonna be glass right here, and then that's where they enter into the shower. And then the huge, primary closet and this was an extra option to have this door here to lead into the laundry room which is pretty cool so we'll go take a look at the garage and then outside if I can look outside let's squeeze on through alrighty So this is a two car garage with an extra bay garage. So I guess that you would call it a three bay garage. So you walk in, this is gonna be where your fire sprinklers are gonna be located. And then to the right would be um, your electrical panel unit right there. I like having the bay garage aspect of it. It's perfect for storage. They're gonna have a tankless water heater right here. And then also it's plumbed for a water softener. Like I said, next they're gonna do the drywall. No, sorry. They're gonna do the insulation, then the drywall. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna walk all the way over there. A little dangerous. I like the plan three, it's a great plan. Actually can't go wrong with TriPoint. Now, if you wanna buy a new home in TriPoint Kings Canyon, the earnest money deposit is 30,000. They do offer lender incentives if you use their in-house lender. I also have uh, a new construction over at Overlook by uh, TriPoint as well. So folks, let me know in the comments what you think of my video tour. And also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned to future videos of other new construction walkthroughs. So far this year, I have about nine, and it's only February, so I will have more hopefully soon. Anyways, folks, you guys have a wonderful day. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it because of the layer of something at the strip. I love it up here. Anyway, folks, peace out. Have a good one.